25 bucks. Old. Let's see your 25 bucks. Raise you 50. Go for it, man. He's bluffing. Three turns, call. Full house, clean high. You cut one? Was it me, man? Hey, you want to bring me the baby powder? Oh. Hey. Coffee. We're out. <laughs> the coffee shop is out of coffee. There's tea in Ovaltine. Getting bad, Jer. How much? Less than yesterday. You're sliding. Don't worry about me. I'm not worried about you. I'm worried about me. They're out of coffee. They're out of everything. I'll meet you at home. I'm not going by myself. People are going to Simpson. Maybe it's time to consider other alternatives. Not that old co-op thing again, please. Town needs a store. Prices should be lower. Co-op will make us into bill collectors. People would pay if Rosie were in charge. You know, I did drop that proposal a couple of years ago for a co-op. Why don't you dig that out? What? Last year we burn him for fifty thousand. This year we take his store. Nice touch. Nah, saving his butt. Yeah, right. We need fair prices. Co-op prices would be fair. I'll put it on the agenda. All right? Why bother? Seems everybody agrees. Phone Sheila, let her know where you are. Are they gonna send you another Monty? Who knows? Maybe they'll just shut the place down. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. doing here? Oh, God, I dreamt I was at home, you know. Home, home. Mm. I was at a council meeting and it was over and they kept on talking, especially Peter. I don't like crossing the river at night. Can I sleep here? No. I'll let you sleep at my place. I'll take you across. I had nothing to do with it. Okay, I wrote the co-op proposal, but that was two, three years ago. I'd forgotten all about it. You might need some time to find it. Okay. And it'll need updating. Don't finish it till I say so. Okay.
She smelled like smoke this morning. And beer. Why didn't you take her to bingo? Like there's no smoking at bingo? I didn't go to bingo. You were with Harris? You were with Harris at the council meeting. I wasn't with him after. Jer? Jerry? I told Trans North we didn't receive this bill. Yeah, so? You're making me a liar. You didn't lie, you were mistaken. I lied. Do you even know where we stand? You mean where I stand. Do you? I'm taking this mess home with me. It's none of your business. It is if you can't pay me. Don't forget to punch out. I run a tight ship here. Side. I'm sure a real pro does it. Take these guys in, read them a book or something. Why should I? Nice to blast, eh? How's Kyla? She's fine. She says, Dada. See ya. She's mad at you for going away. Here, let me try. <laughs> she gets this from her father. And her father got it from you. Where's your things? At my auntie's. She's in Yellowknife for uh, dialysis. That's where I'll be staying. You should stay here. There's not much room. That old shack's in bad shape. I told my auntie I'd take care of it. Hey, where are you going? So, uh, how long you staying? This summer. <sighs> so, did you miss me? Bertha? Hey, do you mind? Nothing I ain't seen before. No, I didn't miss you. I better go. She needs her nap. You should come and visit her later. I'll give her a nap. She might not sleep if she's not at home. She will be at home. She's going to live with me. Go ask her to stay. What for? You're the father. It's her baby. She can do what she wants.
Go tell Bertha to live here with us. And where is she gonna sleep? On the couch. It's all right. Harris has a lot of room in his trailer. She doesn't want to live with the mullah. You and Bertha can have our room. I'll sleep on the couch. Amma. You let me and Bertha have our own room? Go. It's my house. What did Jerry say? Nothing. Nothing? Look, that proposal is way out of date. Well, when exactly do you think that the proposal will be up to date? Well, it took me two or... Th oh, I'm sorry, we collaborated. It took us two or three months to put it together the first time. The council wants this done. You know, when you were chief, I don't remember the council having this much power. Go to sleep, please. Go to sleep. Here, lay her down. Every time I lay her down, she starts to cry. Here. Okay, you. There. Here we go. Okay. Okay. She likes that? Nah, it's the blanket. Thanks. She'll be out for a while now. Did Elsie send you? No. I need a TV. Don't. If you lived with us, we could have our own room. I didn't come up here to shack up with you. Were you shack up with someone in Yellowknife? No. Were you with someone? Were you? So what'd you come back for then? For my daughter. Fine. Have a nice summer. What's this? Revised co-op proposal. One of the councillors was breathing down my neck. So? So, council wants me to make an offer, I make an offer. Okay. Okay, he owes about 150000 That includes the mortgage. Does he have any equity? About 25000 but he's eating it up pretty quickly. It's costing him money to stay open. Tell him we'll take over a mortgage and assume the debts. And five thousand dollars. <laughs> the fair market price. Five thousand dollars. Give him a day to think about it. I can't go to him with that, Albert. It's insulting. Sure you can. Just doing your job. Did someone say come in. I'm here on behalf of the band. Last time you said that, I lost my retirement fund. They want to buy you out. Son, it'd be good. They'll assume your mortgage and your debts and give you $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> You're going bankrupt, Jer. After 18 years. Your place is a mess. 5,000. There's nothing on the shelves. Get out. Get out! Albert says take a day to think about it. Long day. Some people work for a living. Easier on your feet if you work for yourself. Must be real tired working for Jerry. Leon told me about the co-op. 
you'd be the best manager. Of course, that would make me your boss. What do you want? Say you wanted your own place. I could guarantee you a business development loan. I could get one myself. Sure, in about five years. Don't think too long. Peter wants a co-op. You know how he is. I know how you are, too. Then everything's clear. Come on. Down. Oh, oh. Here. OK. Try again. Thanks. So, welcome home. This place is a wreck. It'll be okay for the summer. I need time with Kyla. Too many mothers, not enough baby. I'm sorry about Eric. Thanks. You want to come for dinner? Sure. Yeah. Hey. You'll need these. I brought some food. Thanks. You'll come to our house for dinner tonight? I'm having dinner with Michelle. What about Peter? It's got nothing to do with Peter. Jerry's four months behind on stock payments. Peter wants a co-op. Everybody wants a co-op. It won't work. Peter thinks it will. Peter wants to beat Albert. Albert wants to beat Peter. They're not thinking about anything else. This is good for us. Wayne already knows how to work the till. And you can do the reno. Albert won't let you hire me. Albert won't have a say in it. I can hire whoever I want. Understand business. I understand going broke. Look around. You want to run the co-op, don't you? No. I want my own place. You're gonna buy me out? I'll assume all your debts and give you ten thousand on top. That's why you took the books home, isn't it? You were trying to figure out an offer. I'm not selling to you or any of your goddamn people. He didn't go for it. What should I do? Wait till he goes bankrupt? Make a deal with a bank? It'd be local ownership. The bank would go for that, right? Right? I'd need the band behind me. Yeah, you would. It's kind of fun living with strangers. Mm hmm Sort of starting over. A couple of girls left their babies home, too. Yeah, well, you told me all about the girls. Wow. Well. Okay, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Nick Weaseltail. <laughs> From Wrigley? From Simpson. He's a kayaker. Wow. Nice shoulders on those Weaseltail boys. 
good dancers. Like dance better than TV. <laughs> <laughs> Not so fast. <laughs> You seen TV? Do they ever change? Boys? Huh. Eric saw good things in TV. But you don't. What matters is what you see. I see Kyla and him, and him and Kyla. Hey, Bertha, how you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> Maybe me and Albert should have a baby, huh? What do you think? I don't know. Major stuff, babies. But what the hell, eh? <laughs> Are you staying with Michelle? No, I'm my auntie's. In that shack? Maybe you should stay here. At least for one night. Kyle Askid used to being alone with me. She's right. The door is always open, Bertha. <laughs> it wasn't for me. Mm. Bye. Bye. You have to quit showing up like this. Why? Because. Because Ms. Kennedy shouldn't hang out with Mrs. Gowell. It's their problem, not ours. That's everyone's problem. Mm, not mine. Mm. So where's Albert? With Harris. Scheming. Okay. Take the couch. Thanks. You got any more of this? It's okay. It's okay. Hey, wait. What? You hear that? Baby crying. Thought you wanted to go fishing. I think it's not working. Sure, give it to me. Call my girl. That's okay. Quiet here without the baby, huh? Maybe it's better this way. Tell that to Elsie. Where have you been? Out. Didn't even stay for breakfast, huh? And do you live here? You gonna move in with them? up early. Maybe I'm afraid someone will cut my throat while I'm asleep. Did you think about our offer? Oh, yeah. And? And you can stick it up your ass. 
Three your last chance, Jer. Second last. I get another offer. A hell of a lot better than yours. From whom? My protege. My protege. Are you gonna take it? Five grand. It's so important to that son of a bitch to not have a co-op. He'd rather not have a store at all. Well, not exactly. And Jerry didn't tell me if he was going to accept Rosie's offer. Rosie's offer? Apparently it was higher than ours. I don't see why you need me for this. Because I enjoy your company. Is it true? Yeah. You mind telling me why? It has nothing to do with you, Peter. The hell it doesn't. I mean, Rosie just wants to... I want my own place. Well, then run the co-op. I can do better than that. Why didn't you come to me? Because you're too busy fighting with Albert. He's using you to embarrass me. Run the co-op, learn the ropes, and then take it over later on. She knows the ropes. This is not a war. This is about the kind of town that we want. I'm doing what's best for me and my family, period. Jerry turned us down. Rosie, have any luck? No. Maybe now we'll make him a half-decent offer. Remember that loan the band gave Jerry just after Christmas? What, that $7,000? The understanding is that that was a forgivable loan. It was a misunderstanding. That's a load of crap. That's the way I remember it. Time to call it in. Is there a problem? No. No, no problem. To make me a better offer? I want 50,000 cash. Jerry. Or how about a bidding war? It's all government money anyway. Jerry, you know that loan the band gave you just after Christmas? You said it was forgivable. I'll sue. That's what I'll do. I'll sue. You won't win. You screwed me. It's not me, goddammit. 18 years. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have let it go. I didn't! You know, Jer, maybe it's time for a little payback. No. Offer Rosie a partnership. She gets the government money. You get the place back on its feet. And after a few months... You know, Wednesday was always shepherd's pie at our house. On TV, Trace, watching Gilligan's Island. Sound good to you? Pie does not at Gilligan's Island. Wednesday nights, I meet with the elders. So you're not going home? Where are you going? Michelle's. I don't like that. I wasn't asking. <laughs> I tried the blanket. I tried the humming. Oh. Nothing's working. She's hungry. She already had a bottle. She must be still hungry. Are you still hungry?
come here, you. There we go. Oh. It's not the blanket, you know, or the singing. It's you she likes. Well, at least somebody does. Because you're there when she wakes up. Well, I didn't want to wake you up. Yeah, right. So big deal. I'll stay for breakfast. No, you won't. Come in. What do you want? I want to offer you a deal. What kind of deal? Who am I talking to here? He can hear everything up there anyway. What kind of deal? Partnership. Us? We got no choice. I do. You go bankrupt, I pick the place up for a song. I go bankrupt. There's nothing left to pick up. The bank will repossess it. What? The ashes? You want it? Dreams are dreams and business is business. Here's what I'm thinking. We work together for a few years, I retire, you buy me out. You got your dream, and I got mine. I want that in writing. You got it. Puking, her stomach's all hard. Okay. Sarah? Sarah? What's wrong? She's sick. Oh, okay. Get this blanket. It's okay. It's okay. Did you give her any milk? TV made her a milk bottle. Lactose intolerance. Mary had her on soy formula. I knew that. I knew that. I just. It's okay. She's okay. She'll just have a little diarrhea. We'll give her some rice water, walk her around. She'll be fine in the morning. Mm. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Mm. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, this was okay. Okay. That I'd be so stupid. Okay, okay. 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 It's gonna be okay. Don't. Morning. Morning. Do you want some pancakes? I got Captain Crunch at home. Where are you going? Home. Want some breakfast? I'll make French toast. She has Captain Crunch at home. You still making the French toast? No. When you're moving out? She's not. Why should I? Bertha's not coming here. Maybe she would if there was more room. TV should be with his daughter. And he should move in with her. Yeah, right. They're too young to have a place of their own. They should live here. Bertha is doing OK. She gave Carla milk, made her sick. That was my fault. She's doing the best she can. All she wants is a chance, okay? So just leave her alone. Jeez. What's the problem? 20,000? <laughs> Might as well get what we can. I mean, it's not your money anyway. I want to read it over again. What's an annuity? It's a um, business term. 
What? It's a standard partnership contract. I want to think about it. It's her problem. Got any Pablo? If it's not on a shelf, I don't got it. Sure, all right? No thanks to you. Well, how was I supposed to know she doesn't drink milk? It's my fault, too. That's, uh, she usually gives her her bottle. Still want to help. You don't want to help, you just want to get laid. She's my kid, too. Only when you feel like it. You're the one who took off. No problem. No problem. Stay out of her face. She came to me. Kyla is my kid. Then why aren't you the first person Bertha thinks of when Kyla's in trouble? Because everybody always keeps sticking their noses in. She's not Hannah. You should leave her alone. You've proven to Bertha a hundred times she can't count on you. You've never put anyone ahead of you. That's why she's trying so hard to learn how to live on her own. She knows you aren't there for her. She's alone in that shack because of you. And you know what? She's not ready. He wants me to sign this. Will you look at it for me? You want me to help you? Yeah. It's this buyout and annuity thing that worries me. Well, he's trying to rip you off. The buyout lump sum should not be set now. It should be based on the fair market price of the business on the day that he retires. And the annuity should be a percentage of that. And you should consider a shotgun clause. I like the sound of that. What is it? Well, it means that if Jerry tries to buy you out, that you have the option of turning around and buying him out at the same price. Keeps everybody honest. The unit made one hell of a co-op manager let's see what else we got here it gotta be crazy to have just one girlfriend i mean you gotta spread it around what about our motorcycle trip we're gonna get some harleys and ride to the grand canyon cn tower Hollywood. All this has to change. What for? Because I'm not as dumb as you think I am. Peter wants a co-op, you know. It's gonna look lousy for him if Albert gets his way. Yeah, that's right. So maybe he wants to blow this deal out of the water. What makes you think you can trust him? Because I can. No deal. She figured it out. Oh, OK. 
Okay, uh, this is not a problem. Uh, we'll figure something out. Maybe put in a refinancing clause for three or four years. She's down bluffing. The road. She'll come back and sign it my way. No, she won't. How do you know? Because she knows she's your only chance. I got a few ideas. Uh, Jerry, she's got all the cards. You're bluffing. So, I'll wait him out. Jerry's dumb sometimes, but he's not that dumb. Maybe it will be a co-op. It'll be the end of the world. Rosie! Here. Let him squirm for a while. You want to work something out? You had your chance. I'll make the changes. How about 30,000? It's all going into the store anyway. Days I'm gonna ask you why we don't live together. Not today. Not today. Guess you don't need any help, eh? Not tonight. Yeah. They think you shouldn't be here alone. They're wrong. Well, even Michelle thinks that. Michelle can be wrong. I think she's right. I'm not moving into your place. No, I know that. I was thinking, you know, maybe... Maybe I could move in here with you and Kyla. Here? Yeah. I could help with her. She likes me, now that I know what lactose is. I, mean, I have a job, and I can fix the place up. You'll fix the place? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm better than people think I am. It'll only be for the summer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 